Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today I have a mini PC called Azuli Access Plus and when I say mini PC, this is the entire mini PC, so that's all you get. Yeah, very very small, it fits in your palm. What's the most impressive about this thing is the fact that we actually have a network adapter port and an antenna for dual band Wi-Fi. And this is something that we don't usually see for PCs this small. This one here can be bought with either 2 gigs of RAM or 4 gigs of RAM and of course the price will be different depending on the version that you choose and you can find some links in the video's description. Starting with a very quick unboxing, so the mini PC comes in a very good looking box, on the front of the box we basically see the mini PC and turning this around you're gonna see a picture of the mini PC and some specifications. Inside the box you're gonna find the mini PC itself, you're gonna find a couple of booklets, the power adapter and lastly a HDMI extension cable. This can be used without that HDMI extension cable but they included that just in case your setup is a bit different and you can't actually fit this um, in the back of your TV so that's why we have that extension cable in the box. The mini PC itself it's made out of plastic entirely on the top we actually have a little LED that turns either red or blue depending if this is on or off. On the left hand side you're gonna find the power button, you're gonna find the port for the power adapter, a USB 3 port and a USB 2 port. Even though we only have two USB ports, you can always uh, connect a USB dongle and this way you can extend those two USB ports to as many ports as you need. Moving to the back of the mini PC, there we have a 3.5mm audio jack so you can connect some speakers or some headphones. We also have the network adapter port and the port for a locking mechanism. On the other side we have the external Wi-Fi antenna and a slot for an SD card and you can install an SD card as big as 128 gigs, so you can uh, really extend the storage that you get to this device. And lastly on the front we have the HDMI port. What I like the most about this mini PC is the fact that we don't have a fan inside and uh, there is no additional noise uh, from this device. So you just set it behind the TV or on the desk or whatever and there is no noise coming from it and you don't even know if it's on or off so it's that quiet. Of course the mini PC will get hot because we don't have a fan inside but for the past 4 days that I've been using this it never shut down because it got too hot so I was playing games, I was uh, editing a couple of pictures on uh, that uh, Photoshop Express uh, app and it never got that hot to actually turn off so I don't believe that it will actually turn off because of the heat. For other specs we have the Intel Z8350 CPU, this is a quad core CPU clocked at 1.44 GHz, we also have 4 gigs of RAM as I mentioned before and 32 gigs of internal storage. I was quite surprised about the speeds that I got over the dual band Wi-Fi and uh, over a wired connection. I have to say that these are the best speeds that I've seen for any mini PC that I tried. So yeah, definitely a good thing to have that uh, network adapter port on the back. It's quite impressive that today you can get a PC this small running a full copy of Windows 10. It's just uh, mind blowing considering that uh, only like 5 years ago PC with this performance would have to be about this big. So rather um, impressive. Well, now that you've seen how this looks on the outside, I'm gonna start recording the screen and I'll show you a couple of uh, benchmark tests. We'll try a couple of video files, I'll play a game or two, so you have a better idea about the performance of this little thing. So first of all, the mini PC comes pre-installed with a full copy of Windows 10 Home. And like most PCs these days, you have access to everything that um, Windows 10 offers. So you can do updates um, and this is also an um, activated uh, copy of Windows. And you also have access to the Windows Store. So from the Windows Store, you can download games, you can download apps and pretty much anything that you're interested in. So if we go to settings and system, like on any other PC, we can change the screen resolution. Currently, it's set at 1080p. Uh, however, that's going to be the maximum resolution um, anyways for this monitor that I have connected. So if we go back here um, and we click on storage at storage, we're going to see that we have about 10 gigs left out of that 32. I do have a whole bunch of stuff installed on the mini PC at this time. And if we click on about here, we can see that um, this is running Windows 10, uh, the home edition, the product ID, the CPU, which is a... Uh, Intel uh, Z8350 CPU and we also have 4 gigs of RAM. For our first benchmark test we get a score of about 695 and if you check my channel for other mini PCs that I tried um, in the past you're gonna notice that this one is a bit higher. So uh, here we can also check out uh, every individual uh, component of the mini PC. So if I press home here we can check uh, the graphics card and uh, this is what we have. I'm gonna go back we can check the storage uh, as well and we have a Toshiba storage uh, in here. If we click on the motherboard, uh, this is the motherboard that we uh, have. This is the CPU 
available, so the Z8350 CPU. And this is the RAM that we have, so about 4 gigs of uh, RAM available. For our second benchmark test on the Geekbench 4, we get a multi-core score of 2396, so a very good score, and a single core score of 915. Down here we can see the product's name, so Azuli Access, plus the Windows 10 Home Edition, the CPU, the RAM, and so on. For our next test, I wanted to show you how YouTube works in the browser. So I'm currently using Microsoft Edge and I've noticed that if you actually use Microsoft Edge for YouTube, videos do go much, much better. So this video right here, it's at 4K at this particular time. So I'm just going to press play and let this play for a bit so you have a better idea how well it goes. And as you can probably tell, it does go better than a lot of other mini PCs that we've seen here on the channel. So very, very smooth. So this is how a 4K uh, video would look. So I wasn't actually expecting that 4K videos would uh, go this smooth. So we'll uh, stop this uh, and I'm going to show you how a uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second uh, works. So this one is at 1080p at 60 frames per second. So we'll just uh, maximize this. And as you can probably tell it does go uh, extremely smooth as well. So I'm very impressed uh, by the performance of this little mini PC for uh, YouTube. But keep in mind, if you're actually going to use Chrome, it's not going to go as well. I've also installed Kodi and uh, this is Kodi 17 and uh, I've installed this from the Microsoft Store. So I just wanted to show you how uh, something from Kodi would work. So let's say that you connect this to your TV and you want to use uh, Kodi. So if we go to add-ons here, uh, let's find a working add-on. So I believe this one uh, has a lot of working add-ons. So let's choose this one, for example. And let's choose this one. So I'm just going to go through a couple of feeds so you have a better idea how uh, well it goes. So it will uh, load for a couple of seconds, but that's uh, quite normal for Kodi. And as you can probably tell, uh, it already started and uh, it does go extremely, extremely smooth. So no issues uh, with coding either. So we'll stop this one and I'm just going to find another uh, one. So let me go back once. Um, let's try to get this one, for example. So it really depends what feed uh, you have for Kodi, but uh, yeah, Kodi does seem to work extremely well uh, on this mini PC. So you could easily use this uh, behind your TV as an entertainment uh, center. For our next test, I have my USB stick plugged in and I have a, a few video files here and I wanted to see which one works well and uh, which one don't. So we'll start with the first one here and uh, let's click on it. We'll probably use... Uh, the Windows Media Player. So we'll have to go through the setup because I haven't actually used this. So recommended settings, finish. And uh, this way you have a better idea how long it would actually take you to set up uh, this. So as you can probably tell uh, it did start uh, right away. I'm gonna skip uh, forward. And uh, it does seem to work extremely well. So we'll stop this file, we'll uh, go back here and uh, this is gonna be the next one that I'm gonna try. And uh, I'm very sure that this one will also do okay. And as you can probably tell, uh, it does do extremely good. Now, the next file is going to be a 4K file at 59 frames per second. I don't believe that this one will actually work, but uh, we might as well try. So, let's see what happens. Let's uh, try this with the VLC player. Just uh, to see what happens. I'm very, very curious uh, if uh, it actually works. I highly, highly doubt it. So, yeah, all we see it's a black gray screen. So let's try that uh, with the Windows Media Player uh, for once. Let's see if uh, it starts up. Usually 4K files on these mini PCs don't exactly work, uh, not even on my uh, mini PC, the one that I'm using uh, daily doesn't work, so it's something that uh, I was expecting. So 4K files uh, are not going to be the best uh, for uh, any mini PCs, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's move to a 720p file for example, so this one here, this one will work without uh, any issues and I'm just going to skip uh, towards the end. Moving to another uh, 1080p file, this one also works uh, extremely good. 
and I skipped uh, all the way to the end. And uh, this is a 4K file at 24 frames per second or something like that filmed with my phone. And this one actually works. So if you don't have like an HDR uh, file, uh, it uh, looks like it works and uh, it does uh, work quite good. So this is another 4K file. So I'm quite impressed about uh, this one here. And let's see what else we have here. This one I highly doubt that it will uh, work, but we'll try it anyways. So a lot of uh, loading happening for this file. This is a very difficult uh, file for pretty much uh, any device. So I don't believe that this one will, will actually work. And let's see what else we have here. We have this one here and uh, I'm 100% sure that this one will work without any issues. So as you can probably tell, uh, it does work. So basically the only file that uh, didn't work was uh, this 4K file uh, at 60 frames per second. And that was to be expected because the performance of this mini PC, it's uh, not amazing. For our last test, uh, I'm just playing Asphalt 8. And uh, as you can probably tell, it does seem uh, to go uh, extremely well. I wasn't uh, actually worried about this game uh, not playing because uh, I did see this game uh, working okay on uh, lower uh, and uh, mini PCs. So uh, as you can probably tell it does uh, seem to do extremely well. So gaming it's also possible uh, on a mini PC like this. So there you have it, this is the Azuli Access Plus Mini PC and as you've probably seen it does do extremely good for a mini PC that's uh, that small, it literally fits in your palm. Uh, either than this I haven't had any issues, uh, the Windows updates are working fine, the networks uh, are working fine here, you can uh, get connected to basically any network, uh, the 5G networks work uh, okay. And the scores that we got for the benchmark tests uh, were better than a lot of other uh, mini PCs that we've uh, tested here on the channel. So if you want to check this out, um, there will be some links in the video's description. If you did like the video, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.